Hello, this is TalkBoard and I'd like to teach you about tangents. First of all, we'll discuss what a tangent is. A tangent is a straight line that touches a curve only once. So if we draw a quick example curve here, now we want to draw a line that touches it once. And you can do this, we'll do it by trial and error. This line here cuts the curve twice, here and here. So that is not a tangent. This line here does not touch the curve at all, so that's not a tangent. If you want the line to touch the curve just once, it has to look something like this. That's not very straight. There we go. And the gradient of this red line is consistent throughout. But the gradient of the green curve is changing here, it's more positive than up here. At the point where the tangent touches the curve, the tangent being the red line, the curve being the green line, the gradients of both lines are the same. So that's the basics for tangents. Let's explore an example problem involving tangents. Say we have the curve y is equal to x cubed take 4x and the question is find the equation of the tangent at we'll say 2, 0. The key formulas to keep in mind are y take y1 equals m x take x1 and this is how you find the equation of a straight line from three bits of information the y value, the m value and the x value and the other one is that the equation of the derivative gives you the tangent so dy dx evaluated at some x equals a equals the m value in there. So let's solve this problem. We have y equals x cubed take x, oops sorry that's x cubed, x cubed take 4x dy dx, sorry this should be x1 in there, dy dx is equal to 3x squared take 4. Now if we evaluate dy dx at the point x equals 2, x equals 2, we will get the gradient of our tangent. So this would be 3 times 2 squared take 4, that's equal to 12 take 4, that's equal to 8. So the gradient of our tangent is 8. Now we can apply this formula here, y take y1, well actually we'll set out all our values, m is equal to 8, y1 is equal to 0, x1 is equal to 2, so y take y1, 0, is equal to m, which is 8, x take 2, y is equal to 8, x take away 16. Let's do this graphically because it, it's much more easy to understand it if you've seen the picture of it. So here's our axes and the challenge now is going to be to draw this function here. We'll factorise it on the top right. y equals x cubed take 4x y is equal therefore to x x squared take 4 which is equal to x x take 2 x plus 2 and these will be the turning points x equals 0 x equals 2 and x equals negative 2 so we'll mark those in this is 0 0 this would be 2 0 and back here negative 2, 0. And I also noticed that, noticed that this is a positive cubic, so it's going to start low and end high. 
looking something like that. So if we start down here, we cut up there, down here, and up here again. So it looks something like this. There we go. And our question asked us, what was the tangent at the point 2, 0? Well, this point 2, 0 is this point over here. And you can see visually, if I drew a tangent in yellow at that point, it's going to have quite a positive gradient, and it's going to have an intercept way down here, which is likely to be negative 16. That's if my calculations were correct. So now moving on to a harder problem. I'll delete my work in here. I'll leave those two equations. They could ask us, find the equation of the tangent when x equals negative 3. I'll just name this up. This was negative 2. So x equals negative 3. We go to negative 3. It's a point down here. And the equation of the tangent is something like that. It's going to have quite a positive gradient. And that way we can check, is because if we get a negative number out of our calculations for the gradient, we'll know we're wrong. So let's solve this one. When x equals negative 3, the derivative dy dx uh, it's equal generally to 3x squared take 4. If we evaluate it at x equals negative 3, we get 3, negative 3 squared, take 4. That's 3 times 9, take 4. That's 27, take 4, which is 23. And that is our m value from this equation here. Our x1 value is the value in our coordinate. That would be negative 3, because the coordinate is negative 3 but we don't know the y1 value yet. So x1 equals negative 3. The coordinate down here, negative 3. And y1 is equal to. We need to plug x equals negative 3 into our function up there. y1 therefore equals negative 3 cubed take 4 times negative 3. That's equal to negative 27 take negative 12, <clears throat> that's equal to, I think it's negative 15. So that's our y1, equals y1. Now we can plug all this into our formula here again. We have a line with gradient 23, passing through the point negative 3, negative 15. Therefore we can find the equation describing the line with this formula y take y1 equals m x take x1. This is y take away negative 15 equals 23 x take away negative 3. This becomes y plus 15 equals 23 x plus 3 times 23, that would be 69. So in the end, it's y equals 23x plus 16, oops, six, sorry, 69, take 15, equals 23x plus 69 takes 5 is 64, 64 take 10, 54. And this looks to be right because it indicates an intercept on the y-axis up here, way up there, which is what the tangent line we have down here would actually do, and also a very positive gradient, which is what we want. Finally, one of the more difficult type of questions, types of question they might ask you is this. Find the equation of the tangent um, if I actually no it's not find the equation of the tangent find find 
find two points on the curve. The tangent of which is parallel to y equals negative x. And this question is best understood in a drawing. So the line y equals negative x runs down like this. Actually, that's a bit misleading. I'll fix that up. There we go. And they're asking us to find points on the curve that have tangents that run parallel to this line. So one of them is quite plainly here. And the other one is somewhere, it's actually down there. Pretend those are straight. And the way we find the points on the curve that correspond to these tangents is this. We say the line y equals negative x has a gradient of negative 1. So this time we're starting with the gradient. So we say to our derivative function, show me where dy dx is equal to negative 1, which is the same as saying show me where 3x squared take 4 is equal to negative 1. So rearranging this gives us 0 equals 3x squared take 3 equals x squared take 1 equals x take 1 x plus 1. Therefore x equals negative 1 or x equals 1. This solution coming from here and this solution coming from here. So we're going to find the equation of two tangents now. The first tangent x1 equals negative 1. y1, well we expect it to be somewhat positive. y1 would equal, we go to our function up here, x cubed, so negative 1 cubed, take 4, negative 1. That's equal to negative 1 plus 4, that's equal to 3. Looks about right. And n, of course, is negative 1. Therefore, y take y1, which was 3, equals negative 1, x take x1, that was negative 1, y take 3 is equal to negative x take 1, y is equal to negative x plus 2, which indicates that uh, the point the line runs through here and intercepts at positive 2 there. So that's the first tangent. We'll take this and we'll move it over. Oops. Now the equation of the second tangent is done in much the same way. We have x1 this time is equal to positive 1. So the tangent is somewhere over here. And we have y1 is equal to 1 cubed, take away 4 times 1, that's negative 3, and m, we had that at the start, is equal to negative 1. Therefore, y take away negative 3 equals negative 1, x take 1, y plus 3 equals negative x plus 1, y is equal to negative x take 2, which indicates it intercepts down here at 0, negative 2. And that's how you find a tangent, first if you have the exact coordinate, then if you have just the x value of the coordinate, and finally if you have the value of the gradient of the tangent, you can find the points uh, which will correspond to those tangents.